This lab introduces some basic features of the waveform generator. Signals produced by waveform generators change with time. We'll use a flashing LED to illustrate waveform generator operation. But before that, we need to define some terms used by the waveform generator. Parameters, such as voltage or current, which vary with time, are called signals. Waveform generators create what are called periodic signals. That just means that the shape of the signal repeats itself at a regular interval. For example, this is a periodic signal. It takes this amount of time for the signal to repeat itself. The period is generally denoted by a capital T. There are a number of terms which are commonly used when generating signals using a waveform generator. I'll define those based on this simple square wave shown here, but the definitions hold regardless of the specific wave shape. The frequency of a signal is the inverse of the period. Frequency is the rate at which the signal repeats itself. Units of frequency are hertz, which is the same as cycles per second. For example, if we have a waveform with a period of a half a second, the frequency is 2 hertz because it repeats itself twice in one second. The offset of a signal is its average value. It simply moves the entire signal up or down along the vertical axis. The amplitude of the signal is the vertical distance between the average value and the peak value. Now let's see how to use the waveform generator to create some signals and apply them to a circuit. Here's a schematic of the circuit we'll use. It's a resistor in series with an LED. The applied voltage changes with time and is provided by a waveform generator. We'll use the arbitrary waveform generator of our USB-based electronics equipment to provide power to the LED. This is the circuit we'll use for this example. The applied voltage is provided by channel 1 of the waveform generator, this yellow wire. This is a 100 ohm resistor and this is an LED. Ground is connected here to complete the circuit. Now let's apply some time varying voltage to the LED with our waveform generator. I'll start by applying a square wave with a frequency of 1 hertz and an amplitude that goes from negative 4 volts to positive 4 volts. To control the waveform generator, click on the Wave Gen button on the Welcome tab. To create our signal, expand the drop-down menu next to the signal type and select Square. To get a frequency of 1 Hz, choose 1 Hz from the drop-down menu next to Frequency. To create a wave that goes from negative 4 to positive 4 volts, set the amplitude to 4 volts and press the Enter key on your keyboard. We want to leave the offset at 0 volts. A preview of the signal is shown in this window. It goes from positive 4 volts to negative 4 volts, and its period is 1 second. The frequency is the inverse of period, so the frequency is 1 hertz as desired. The LED, of course, will only turn on when the wave is at the high voltage level, so we should see the LED turn on at a rate of about once per second, and the LED will be on for half a second and off for half a second. To apply power, click on Run. The LED seems to be flickering at the correct rate. You can easily change the rate at which the LED flickers by changing the frequency of the applied square wave. You can use a constant voltage, DC, to check to see what voltage the LED first turns on. Just adjust the offset. 